What up ninjas, my name is Ethan and welcome to the top 10 best ways to kill someone in Halo 5. This list is based on my personal opinion, so if you don't agree, just drop your list in the comment section down below. So to start things off, we got the perfect kill at number 10. And it's nothing too fancy, you can do this with multiple weapons, but I just like the way the announcer says perfect after you get the kill. Next up at number 9, we got the Gauss Cannon. Now this weapon or this vehicle is not available in every game mode, but if you manage to get your hands on it, oh my gosh, killing someone with that is so satisfying. But then again, getting a kill with this weapon is not really that hard, so that's why it's not ranked any higher. Moving on towards number 8, and that spot goes to the nade shot. Basically, you just throw a frag grenade towards somebody, the frag grenade takes away their shield, and you just pop them off with a headshot. It's clean, it's efficient, and it's very effective. This 1-2 combination is also really useful if you see an opponent going towards the corner, and you're already waiting there. Up next at number 7, we got the gravity hammer. I was really considering putting the energy sword at number 7, but then I thought, you know what, it has to be way more satisfying to just squash someone with a gravity hammer instead of just slicing and dicing them. Another reason why I would choose the gravity hammer over the energy sword is that you can use the gravity hammer to kill multiple opponents at once, while you can just kill one opponent at a time with the energy sword. And now that we're talking about it, have you seen the assassination you can do with the gravity hammer? You wouldn't wish that to anyone. Next up is number 6, and I have to give this spot to the super combine kills. In Halo Reach, I would use the needle rifle a lot, and I was very disappointed that they didn't have it in Halo 5, until one of the previous DLCs announced Blood of Subang. It almost made me cry manly tears because that weapon is truly a gift from above. And yeah, of course the needler will always stay awesome as well. Whenever you get your hands on it, make sure you unload the full clip, and then whoever is caught out in the open will experience pink death. The fifth spot goes to camouflage kills. Out of all the power ups, camouflage has to be my favorite one. Whenever you pick it up, the game basically gives you a ninja perk and you get to walk around the map without anyone seeing you and you can just wreck everyone. Whenever I get my hands on a camo, whether it's in Warzone or Arena, I just like to sneak behind an opponent and then just quietly assassinate him. That has to be the most optimal punish. I know you probably shouldn't play Arena with assassinations enabled, but then again, I don't really play competitive or I don't play on a really high level either, so I just like to take my time and test out all the assassinations Halo 5 has given us. The number 4 spot goes to sniper rifle kills, and not just any kill with the sniper rifle, this spot is specifically reserved for snapshots only. Not only is getting someone with a snapshot instead of using your scope much cooler, it also gives you the opportunity to stay aware of your surroundings, and not getting hit from the back by someone taking advantage of you. Now if that's not a sexual innuendo, I don't know anymore. Okay, it's time to move on to the top 3, and the third spot goes to splatter kills. As much as I love to splatter other Spartans, the splatter mechanic in Halo 5 is kind of weird. Sometimes I'm driving at full speed and I would hit another Spartan and he would barely lose his shield or he would just bounce off of my vehicle and nothing else would happen. And then on the other hand, whenever you're close to a teammate and you barely tap them, they always instantly die and you get a betrayal. That is just great. We have almost arrived at the best way to kill someone, but the runner up goes to Sticky. Plasma grenades have always been and will probably always be my favorite type of grenades. They're kind of my weakness as well because whenever I have plasma grenades in my hand, I get a little too overconfident and I stop shooting. 7 out of 10 times this kind of works out for me, but then the other 3 times I get wrecked. Alright, so finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, the best way to kill someone in Halo 5 has to be a ninja. I'm assuming you already know this, but if you're new to Halo, basically what happens is you're getting shot from the back, you look at the radar, you jump, you boost backwards and you falcon punch your opponent in the back. There you have it guys, my top 10 best ways to kill someone in Halo 5. If you agree with me or you have a different top 10, let me know in the comment section and I will see you at my next video. Peace!